Jessica Motawong explains why Kaza Chiefs Football Club chose U Nazardin Nabi. Well, in this specific video, you know what? I decided that I'm going to come back to football and I'm going to come back full time simply because of the decisions that were made by Ikaza Chiefs. The decisions that currently were made by Ikaza Chiefs are the very same decisions that chased me away from football such that I abandoned my YouTube channel. And I'm telling you the truth today, something that I've never told a lot of people, even when other people were saying, well, please come back to the uh, local, to, 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 to football. Please do football, to local football again. I just told myself that, you know what, I am not going to come back to football. And I wasn't going to come back to football at all. I wasn't going to continue with football anymore. I was just so irritated uh, because of the decisions that Carter Chiefs were doing. And... I personally understand that whatever decisions that Qatar Chiefs tends to do, it affects football, and a lot of people don't understand that. Um, from, uh, from, uh, from, 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 uh, what can I say? So, my mother Sandals, for instance, have won many trophies, but they don't even have half of my block of half, half of Qatar Chiefs supporters. And I've always said to somebody, you know, just before this uh, official announcement of Unazar Nabi, I said to somebody. All Kata Chiefs need is just to win one trophy because they are that good at marketing. So I looked at the way the, the, the club was run and I, I like, you know what, I'm just tired of coming here, venting and all the stuff. I'm just leaving this whole thing together. But when they made the decisions that they are bringing Unabi, it, it pointed something to me. And that is exactly what I want us to talk about in this specific video. Because I find it very interesting, the decisions and the strategy that Ikata Chiefs have taken in making sure the, in, in, in appointing Unazar Dinabe, it's superb. Right? And it, 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 look, it has got a lot of benefit in it. There is something that Ikata Chiefs have suddenly realized, right? Maybe you remember that when Orlando Parrot look, look, when Orlando Parrot, I think it's the 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 first game of the uh, look, the first game or the second game where they met Qatar Chiefs look in the last season, right? The season that just ended. You remember that um you we saw the look oh Jessica Mtaung literally crying, right? I believe that the turning point was there when they were literally crying and realizing the pain that they are taking other people through, right? And then um, Parrot, you know what I'm saying? So for Parrot as well to beat Kata Chiefs twice, you know what I'm saying? It also helped in terms, it, it helped the Kata Chiefs management to wake up from their slumber. And now they are doing the right thing. The right speaking about the right thing, right? I want you to do this right thing. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge, and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed jessica mutawong um Carter Chiefs marketing and commercial uh director jessica mutawong revealed why they settled for all another dinabi over all other coaches that's where we're going to start our conversation right uh let me just look at this. I'm going to come back to you now. She says, she said the following. I believe we have done all the work to ensure that we have the right team. Please, the key words there is the right team, right? She says, the right coach to make sure that uh, we take card achieves to the next level. Please note the second word there. The key word is uh, taking card achieves to the next level. So the first team is that we have the right team being the technical team and the, the, the players they're on. The second keyword there is that 
uh, we have the right look look the second key word is that taking cardership to the next level then she continues to say we are looking forward to his work and that fro look and that of the team as uh, look as he has assembled please notice the fact that the team that is going to be assembled is him uh, look who's going to be assembling who's going to be doing the assembling thing uh, new and older players that are with the squad notice the word or uh, new players but don't stick there just proceed a bit we look at the number of things right uh, the right coach will have will have coached around the continent notice that word notice the word the right team taking cutterships to the next level the coach who would have coached around the continent now notice this one who understands chips brand what or look where we want to go the right the key word being where we want to go so the question that you need to ask from this is uh there's similar there are similarities here and the similarities are that uh we want a coach that is going to take other chips to the next level a coach that's going to assemble a new team a coach that is look of coach around continentally right and then it says a coach who has a hunger and passion for success as chips friend i must say we look i must say well done to the support to the sporting director keza motaung jr and the entire team for extensive work they did in scouting um in, in scouting the world so in other words we went through uh, a whole lot of things so we'll we'll, we'll look we'll continue with this one but nevertheless look at this right ikara chiefs they have suddenly developed an ambition to go to africa if you have noticed this they've suddenly developed this ambition to say we win, we we need to go to africa but have you noticed that if you're looking at nazaruddin nabi he has been he has coached along the the other part of africa so he understands the things that are happening in the other part of africa nazaruddin nabi only chakara chips chose are nazaruddin nabi because they now want to play continental football that's one two if you do not understand the tricks and everything that happens when you play continental football you get chowed you get you get kicked out of the competition uh, this this other uh, look eastern part of africa they don't play the actual football you'll remember i forgot which team that look from south africa you'll remember that one look one they gave them uh, bad food two they gave them a uh, west treatment they put something on the change room so they uncircled you right three you remember when they were they came to south africa i don't know whether they were playing against south africa look against um pirate or the against sundowns right do you remember them bending something inside the stadium you know that is the, that is this that is what this uh this western african other uh, look and those side of uh, that part of africa right that is what they tend to do they play you before they can play the football but then listen to this one then you've got nazareth nabi who have coached along those sides who understands these tricks and everything so when they chose our nazareth nabi they were looking at a person that understands the continental football like the african continent football not just the actual football like as in like kicking the football but also the mind game that get to be played before that and the technique and, and, and the sufferings that players went through right before that you'll remember dr kumalo at some point he spoke about this thing that uh, at some point they were eating coke and what uh, in, in in this country remember there are kaza chiefs traveling there but they are being given um a, look a very 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 bad treatment but they come to south africa they get a five star treatment because uh, in south africa you don't you look in fact this part of africa uh, we don't believe in this thing of uh playing mind games so that we can win games but in other in that part of africa they are interested in winning the game and so if you are the problem they will remove you by playing the mind games and doing everything necessary just to deal with you on a mental capacity and to prove that uh, do you remember what happened to the the local the, the, the guys i mean uh do you remember that they were kept in a hotel illegally by the way but they were kept by this person who said you must pay me my money and then i will release your people three of uh, three of their look at their technical team was kept there by this guy but in south africa you wouldn't do that so 
if you look at Nazar Dinabi and his experience, right, it speaks of things like that. So when they were looking at a coach to hire, they considered all of those options and they came to one conclusion and that this is the man to play the local to, 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 to hire as a coach. So I was very interested. I was very interested to look at what is Kata Chips basically describing this coach. They gave us all the hint that they have, uh, look, they have gone all around the world and they could only find one coach that can meet their expectations being Nazar Dinabi, right? But one of, the, one of the thing as well, uh, I don't know whether I'm catching flu or what. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on with my noise. Eh? I don't know, guys. Um, forgive me. So one of the things that is happening here is that uh, Kaza Chips also have not worn a cap, right? That one is just a given, right? It's the fact that they have not worn a cap for a very long time. And you've got a person who's got a winning mentality. Uh, a person that was won triple in... in, 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 in uh, what is this country? A person that has won triple in, in, in Tanzania. For Nazar, didn't have not to win anything in Morocco. It is a blessing in disguise. And I'll show you why. Or I'll tell you why. Because if you are... If he had won everything, and even in Morocco he had won everything, he will not have been... Uh, look, he will not have the hunger that he's supposed to have. Right now... He is like a wounded lion. He is now out there wanting to prove a point that he's still the best. And so this one, the fact that he did not win anything in this country, né? Morocco, it's a blessing in disguise. And people should, uh, should really appreciate that. It's a blessing in disguise. I'm telling you, it's a blessing that he did not win. Because when he uh, now that he's gonna, it's coming to Castle Chips, he's coming to prove a point, and that's where we want him, right? Because for you to have a team that is coming to co to compete on the DSTV Premiership, you need a, P a coach that is hung that has got a hunger to prove a point, but also a coach that has been in a high pressured environment such as in Morocco, right? Because of that, it presents a lot of the, look advantages. To Ikaza Chips, the fact that he did not win that it present a, a look an advantages to Kata Chips. But one of the things as well, Jessica Mtaonga says, um, it was not a, it was not a oh, it was not it was not a continental decision. We looked a number of coaches and the presentation that were made and there are analysis in finding the right team of people to work with us. Um, Lokuti, it's not about the it's not about hitting the ground running, but it's about doing the things right and building and continue the success. We all want success, but we know if you want success, you must do everything properly. This is Kazuchi. This is the time when I was listening to Jessica Mtawonga saying this, I was like, Yeah, what are you manch? Carter Chips are interested in doing the right things. Now, you look at the type of players that Carter Chips are, look, are, are bringing up, right? They've got a lot of young people from their own acad look, academy. Let me remind you something. There was a game that, oh, there was a game that, oh, oh look, Mshin Ochukral was still a Carter Chips uh, coach. Look, there was a time when he beat Orlando Parrot. Um, if I'm not mistaken, there's a player by the name of Michael Manzini, if I'm not mistaken. He was wearing just number 10 at Kaza Chips, if I'm not mistaken. He, he look, uh, there was this young, look, there was this young, look, group of young people, right? Um, if I'm not mistaken, Abu Helskal Vague was still part of that team. Look, oh, look, oh, this coach, ne? oh, Mshin Ochokral, he managed to beat Orlando Pirate with just young people. And you're looking at that and then, you hear Kata Chief saying to you, we are not interested in just uh, microwave success. We are now interested in success that we can, um, look, we are not interested, we are now interested in success that uh, it can be replicated. And I'm telling you, uh, we are seeing a different Kata Chiefs. We will be seeing a different Kata Chiefs. Not that they are going to win something, but from an intention point of view, the fact that the technical team for me is very appetizing. The type of technical technical team. But what I usually do, guys, me, um, I will tell you this truth, guys. What I usually do, I don't look. I I technically don't have. Uh, okay, I, I technically look at. I usually look at the first few games of this coach. It tells me what the coach wants to do. You look. I I, I told you the same with Stuart Baxter. 
three games I was bored. I was like, this man, nah. You know what I'm saying? But uh, so with Nazar Nabi, the first few games will tell me his intentions. Whether it's to build a strong team, winning, or it's just there to get the money. It, the first few games will tell me. The first game, I'll just look at the style. Second game, third game, fourth game, I will know whether we've got a good coach or not. 